Hey friends, so it has been an entire month without social media. And look, I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, heart rate's at 82. See, it's possible. So as promised, I am back with a review of how it went. Uh, so listen in to see what I found. So the very first thing I noticed is that barely anyone noticed. I guess I'm not that important uh, in other people's lives. Uh, I did have a couple friends notice right away, of course, my best friend and my friend Maria. But a lot of people actually didn't figure out that I didn't have social media anymore until they tried to tag me in things. I'd say about two to three notice before I announced it on YouTube, and then about a handful more once I made my video for the channel. After that, it was kind of sporadical. Someone would say, oh, did you see this on Facebook? And I'd say, I don't actually have Facebook right now. And they'd be like, oh, really? But I think that's something I kind of learned through this is that even me, like when I'm on social media, I'm like, okay, I'm posting my picture. Okay, bye. Like seriously, that's what I do. I don't always look through um, at other people's pictures. And of course, sometimes that's how I get my information on people. <sighs> that sounds very stalkerish. Try to see what people are up to. And I did find that as a challenge. Like as I mentioned in one of my vlogs, someone asked me like, hey, is so-and-so still with his girlfriend? And I'm like, oh, let me go. And my default, of course, was to look on Facebook or Instagram. So as far as keeping tabs on people, or more so keeping up with people, stalking them, I did find that to be a little bit challenging, not knowing what's going on in everyone's lives. The next challenge I found was that there's so many accounts that say, hey, sign up using Facebook. And um, a bunch of them I had already done that in the past. So actually to log on to Rover, I think I reactivated my Facebook in the background. Um, I wasn't going on it, but my picture did show up again. And that's what I noticed. It's so easy when you're making a new account for something just to click connect with Facebook. Uh, so as far as that goes, I find that was a bit less convenient and I missed that. Um, of course, you can sign up with your email sometimes with a Google account, but then sometimes you have to create a new password. Whereas if you click connect with Facebook, it's kind of one thing across the line. Now for the first half of the month, I was quite obsessed with still checking social media. I would find myself turning on my phone, instinctively going to Instagram that was no longer there being shocked, turning my phone off, two minutes later doing the same thing. I really noticed that addictive behavior. Now Facebook wasn't quite as bad. I would go and I'd realize it wasn't there, same thing. Um, and for the first 21 days I noticed myself turning my phone on often, trying to go to those apps and then seeing them not there. Now what would I do instead? Oftentimes I would go and play a game and I would also check up on my emails. I am obsessed with checking my emails now, so I think I kind of transferred that addictive refresh behavior onto emails, which is great for my professional life. It's rarely interesting. Sometimes, you know, Bath and Body Works sends me an email. I kind of had to like channel that energy elsewhere. But of course, all this time scrolling that I saved, I have found uh, that I've been procrastinating less as far as schoolwork and getting more done in a limited amount of time. Of course, I also look at that as being a senior student in university, and by now I kind of have together, um, but I did find that I had less distractions. I didn't really have a craving to go on my phone because, you know, I only have five lives on Candy Crush, so uh, after that I'd be like, well, there's nothing else to do on my phone, so I guess I'll do homework. Uh, so definitely helpful as far as productivity. Now, yesterday I did press Facebook. I'm gonna open it together today. I did see I had 58 notifications, um, and then I saw a bunch of Karens complaining about the government and life and I realized, hey, I am not interested in going back. I'm interested in sharing all these nice pictures I have taken and seeing what people are up to, what they've done in 2020, because when I think I haven't been on since 2019, so really I'm kind of behind like who's dating who and who's traveling where. But as far as people complaining, I just felt such a negativity when I looked on uh, that yesterday I didn't even want to. I, want, I didn't want to go further. All right, so we got one friend request and 60 notifications. Stress. Okay, so-and-so posted in this group. A lot of people had birthdays. Happy birthday, I'm sorry if I forgot you. Let's go over to Instagram. The girl I went to high school with is in Canmore, Alberta. Cute picture of her. Not much has changed. I kind of just feel empty towards it now. Before I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep everything up. And now I'm just kind of like, I don't really, really care at all. <laughs> uh, so I guess what I learned from this whole thing is that you're much more aware of your usage of social media than anyone else around you. But a lot of people are like, oh, didn't you see this on Facebook? So I did feel a little bit behind on information because of that. But 
looking at how much more productive I am, how I actually have to tell people things. I don't know. I feel like I have a more relaxed life and it's only been a month. So will I go back? I don't know. Might keep it activated now. Might just delete it permanently. Honestly, I'd be fine either way. And a month ago, I honestly thought, hey, 31 days, I can do this. And even through halfway to the month, I was like, okay, 10 more days, and then I can go back on. Life must have been simpler in the old times, because I do feel a certain pressure to go back. Stay tuned, dear friends.